Well, today's date is July the 29th, 2012. I've just finished uh, listening to my wife's testimony and some of my daughter and reviewing some of uh, Dr. Perez's statements. Uh, one of them that sort of stands out is the amount of staff that he mentioned. Uh, personally, I only saw him and one assistant and two nurses that did the pre-surgery preparation. Uh, so the chef was a big hat and the gentleman that delivered the food to the room and a couple of other nurses. But as far as such a large staff, he was probably referring to the whole hospital. But my sense is that this clinic is uh, probably renting space within Angeles Hospital. I don't know that for sure, but that's my sense of it. And what I do know is they uh, picked us up on the other side of the border, uh, on the American side. Uh, the Barnetts were coming from uh, Texas. Uh, he is being treated for COPD. And he shared uh, the van with us uh, and shared the facilities. He was in a room down the hall from my daughter, and uh, it's pretty cut and dry. We uh, obviously bought into this procedure on the internet. My daughter uh, felt very confident from what Dr. Perez presented, and he showed uh, testimonials of people that had been treated. Uh, but she was going to be their first of ten liver patients, as I recall. So we checked in on a Monday afternoon and they did some pre-testing to make sure that the procedure was going to be appropriate. And the next morning they told us that she would be going into surgery about 9.30. And that's the last I saw her until the doctor came in about 2.30 and said there had been a delay. They had, a, had an emergency situation that assured me that everything went well. In fact, he said that he actually thought that he got more stem cells than he really needed and that everything would be fine and uh, she'd be back in the room, which she was shortly, and then I got to see the following morning. Maybe you'll see those pictures on her where she took uh, the bandages off and, and showed me the liposuction procedure, which did a lot of bruising, which is probably common. And uh, then we uh, checked out the next day going to the pharmacy, which is on site, and spent a little bit of money there coming home with the uh, various uh, medicines that she would need for recovery. And said that, uh, and Sharma's has already mentioned this, that uh, the next a uh, check would be in about 90 days. She was to do some uh, procedures here at home, which would indicate the progress. And she did that, and there was none. And so in checking with uh, the Barnetts, uh, we found out that he actually passed away two or three days before the 90-day year period or 90 day period was up. Of course, that was not only devastating to his wife, But he, he came there. I understand he was uh, very, very ill. Um, he had uh, lung damage. I guess that's what the COPD is. And was very hopeful that, that it would be working for him. So it was a shock to us to learn that, that he actually passed away and uh, his wife is apparently doing okay now. But we actually make this uh, video with uh, the hope that uh, those who are considering such a procedure 
uh, liposuction, uh, adipose derived, that means uh, stem cells taken from the stomach area. And uh, then in their own lab, they have available an enzyme that uh, takes the fat from the stem cells and then they deliver those stem cells back into your body. Like Sharma's has already mentioned, 70% uh, directly into her liver and 30% into her arm intravenously. So uh, uh, we understand that uh, Hart died from an aneurysm in the same area that he received his liposuction. So I feel concerned that uh, that this procedure may not be for you. Obviously, it wasn't for him. So, in viewing the uh, testimonies of my wife and my daughter, and Myself, we think you should seriously consider any treatments that you might receive at this facility. Uh, we were relying upon the fact that, uh, in fact, the doctor told me when I asked him in the interview after he came back from surgery, I says, "What happens?" if she needs more. And he said, there won't be any need for more. We've never had a patient that required a second treatment. So obviously this comes quite a surprise and quite a cost if and when we decided to go further with this treatment. So there's been a lot of uh, misinformation and delays and so forth. And we think you need to check this facility out very thoroughly. It's quite expensive uh, and uh, they give you a lot of hope one-time treatment with no guarantees. So you can view uh, my daughter's testimony and pictures, and my wife's testimony, and even Dr. Uh, Perez as he uh, came across to us in the, uh, the videos that you'll be seeing within this presentation. Uh, my daughter's had a pretty hard time contacting uh, this facility and others that could answer questions for us, but she's pretty much got to run around. And then they said, that, yeah, come back. You can pay the hospital bill. Well, who knows what that's going to be. That's probably the major portion of the procedure. So again, uh, be careful if you're considering this institute for this kind of a procedure. Thank you.